Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the scientist Robert Scotch and his contribution to microbiology. Okay, and for his contribution, he is known as the founder of modern bacteriology. Okay, so now let's discuss about the all the contributions of Robert Scotch to microbiology. So these are the all contributions of Robert Scotch. Okay, so the first thing is the germ theory of disease he experimentally proved the germ theory of disease so what is germ theory of disease the germ theory of disease means a particular germ or a particular pathogen is responsible for causing a particular or a specific disease that is called the germ theory of disease okay so a particular specific germ is responsible for causing a particular specific disease that is the germ theory of disease which is experimentally proved by Robert Scotch and he also introduced a cost prostulate that cost prostulate means and he gave some criteria in this prostulates and say that if those cri if a microorganism or a pathogen fulfill those criteria then only we can say that this microorganism is responsible for that specific disease okay so what are those criteria let's see those criteria of cost prostulate okay so these are the four criteria of cost prostulate so the first thing is the bacteria the first criteria is the bacteria must be present in all the disease containing animals the bacteria must be present in all the disease containing animals and then the next then the next criteria is the bacteria must the bacteria which are present in all the disease diseased animals from this diseased animal the bacteria must be isolated and they must be grown in pure culture okay so this is the second criteria and the third criteria is if the pure culture if the pure culture is introduced into a healthy susceptible animal then the same disease symptom should be shown in this healthy susceptible host suppose for suppose for example anthrax disease the the causative agent the microorganism is the bacillus anthracis okay so if the bacillus and if the pure culture of bacillus anthracis is introduced into a healthy susceptible animal then the healthy animal should or must show the same disease symptoms of anthrax disease animals okay so this is the fourth so this is the third criteria and the fourth criteria is from the healthy susceptible host which show the disease symptoms from them from this healthy susceptible host the bacteria must be re-isolated that means from this healthy susceptible host we must have to collect the same type of microorganisms okay which are present in the disease containing animals okay so if this four criteria is fulfilled then only we can say that that particular microorganism is responsible for causing that particular disease okay so this is the cost prostulate by which he proved the germ theory of disease okay so the next contribution is the he I, so he identified the specific causative agent that means the specific microorganisms or the specific pathogen which are causing the disease anthrax tuberculosis and cholera so let's discuss about them this diseases okay the first is the anthrax disease okay so robert scotch isolated the bacillus anthracis which is the main microorganism or pathogen for causing the anthrax disease in cattle okay and his study and the study for formation and germ germination of spore in anthrax bacteria okay and his work with anthrax is notably notably in that he was the first to link specific microorganism with a specific disease that means a specific microorganism is responsible for a specific disease which is the germ theory of disease and this is proved by robert scotch by his anthrax disease experiment okay and the next is tuberculosis disease so previously previously 
it was widely believed that tuberculosis was an inherited disease but it is not an inherited disease so koch was convinced that the disease was caused by a bacterium disease was caused by a bacterium and was infectious and tested his four postulates that is the cause postulates that is the criteria and through these experiments he found that his experiments with tuberculosis satisfied all four these criteria that means all four these postulates and from this he experimentally proved that the the mycobacterium tuberculosis that is the causative agent of tuberculosis disease is responsible for causing the tuberculosis disease okay and after that later cause also attempt to develop a drug to treat the tuberculosis disease that is the tuberculin drug he introduced it but unfortunately it doesn't work okay so these are the diseases the causative agent he isolated and identified and the next next contribution is the isolation of bacteria in pure culture isolation of bacteria in pure culture in pure culture means in a, a culture a culture which is which contain only one type of microorganism only one species of microorganism and that is called the pure culture okay so he introduced a method for isolating a bacteria in pure culture okay and also he introduced the solid media for culture of bacteria nowadays we know the solidifying agent is agar which is also developed by the robert scotch who used agar as a base for culture media but previously at first he at first as a solidifying agent he take he took gelatin gelatin as a solidifying agent but gelatin is not a good solidifying agent because at uh, 20 to 30 degree celsius it is uh, come to liquid form and also it interact with the microorganisms that why that's why he rejected the gelatin as a solidifying agent and he use after that he use agar as a base for culture media okay so this is the contribution and another thing is that he introduced the pore plate method so what is pore plate method let's discuss about it so this is the process of pore plate method so first the bacteria or the microorganisms are mixed with the nutrient agar medium when the agar medium is liquidified okay so in this position the bacteria is mixed with the liquidified agar medium and then the sam the bacteria containing agar media is poured into a petri plate and that's why it is called the pore plate method and then after that we have to stir it he stirred it so that the bacteria so that the microorganism is properly mixed with the agar media and then we have to incubate it so that the microorganisms can grow on the solid agar media so this is the process of pore plate method which is introduced by the robert scotch and the another contribution is hanging drop technique so by this hanging drop technique the microorganisms can be shown under microscope which is also developed by robert scotch so what is the technique so this is the this is a cover glass this is a cover glass and a bacterial solution is put it and the bacterial solution is put on this cover glass okay and then he put a put a slide and this slide is slightly curved you can see this the slide is slightly curved and then after putting it then he invert the whole slide containing the cover glass and then he see saw this so this uh, bacterial solution under the microscope okay and as this bacterial solution is hanging here that's why this technique is called the hanging drop technique to see the microorganisms under microscope okay so this is also developed by robert scotch so these are the contributions and the another contribution is he introduced the staining technique by using aniline dyes 
okay so these are all the contributions of robert scotch in microbiology okay thank you for watching this video